You've been lied to about creatine. Yeah, I said it. For years, you've been sold powders, pushed routines, and spoon-fed half-truths about one of the most studied supplements in the fitness world. But today, we cut through the noise. Today, you're going to hear the truth, the real things nobody tells you about creatine. Not the gym brothers, not the supplement brands, and definitely not the fitness influencers pushing affiliate links. Let's go deep. Let's get real. Here are 10 things nobody tells you about creatine. 1. Creatine isn't just for bodybuilders, it literally powers your brain. When most people think of creatine, they picture muscular guys at the gym guzzling shakes between reps, but that image is missing the full story. The truth? Creatine plays a major role in brain function. That's right, it's not just your biceps that love creatine. Your neurons, the cells that transmit signals throughout your brain, rely heavily on ATP, the energy molecule that powers virtually everything in your body. Creatine helps recycle ATP faster, making it crucial for tissues that burn energy rapidly, like your brain. What creatine does in the brain, boosts cognitive performance performance, supports mental clarity and memory, may help reduce mental fatigue, has potential antidepressant effects, more on this in point 8, the evidence, a study published in neuroscience and biobehavioral reviews showed that creatine supplementation improved cognitive performance in tasks involving short-term memory and reasoning, in sleep-deprived individuals, creatine helped reduce the cognitive decline often seen with fatigue, in a world driven by mental output, where you're constantly multitasking, problem-solving, and absorbing new information, creatine is brain fuel. And yet, most people only think of it in terms of aesthetics. This isn't just about vanity. This is about vitality. Creatine is for thinkers, students, creators, parents, and professionals who want to stay mentally sharp. This is about showing up fully, in mind and in body. 2. That water weight. It's not fat. It's muscle priming hydration. Creatine makes you bloated. How many times have you heard that? Probably enough to make you second guess trying it. Let's crush that myth once and for all. Yes, creatine does cause water retention, but not the kind you're afraid of. It stores water inside your muscle cells, not under your skin. That's called intracellular hydration, and it's actually a good thing. Why this matters? Intracellular hydration helps stimulate muscle protein synthesis. It improves muscle volume, which may lead to increased strength and better performance. Proper hydration inside the muscle cells promotes faster recovery and nutrient transport. What it's not. It's not fat gain. It's not bloating in your face or belly. It's not permanent water weight that ruins your definition. In fact, if you're feeling bloated from creatine, it's probably due to something else, like poor diet, excess sodium, or a sensitive digestive system reacting to a low-quality powder. So, let's call it what it is. Performance hydration. Creatine doesn't make you puffy. It primes your muscles like a sponge ready to perform and grow. Stop fearing water. Start embracing strength. 3. You're probably not getting enough from food, not even close. Some people scoff at creatine supplements. Just eat more meat, bro. Here's the inconvenient truth. Unless you're eating 2 to 3 pounds of red meat or fish daily, you're probably not getting the 3 to 5 grams of creatine your body could actually use to optimize performance and recovery. And for vegetarians or vegans, the situation is even more dramatic. Creatine content in food, per 1 pound. Beef, 2 grams. Pork, 2 grams. Salmon, 2 grams. But here's the catch. Cooking meat degrades creatine. Up to 30% can be lost in high heat cooking methods. The average person doesn't consume that much meat, and shouldn't for long-term health. Plant-based sources contain zero creatine. If you're training hard, competing, or simply trying to maintain energy throughout the day, supplementing becomes the smart, not lazy, choice. You wouldn't skip protein just because you had eggs. Don't skip creatine just because you had steak. 4. Creatine doesn't just help you lift more, it helps you do more. Here's a truth bomb. Creatine isn't just for muscle growth, it's for muscle resilience. It improves your body's ability to perform repeated high-intensity efforts. Think sprinting, hit workout, heavy sets, fast-paced sports. It's the difference between getting 5 reps or 8 reps, running 4 sprints or 6 sprints, feeling dead after your second set, or powering through 5. Why? Because creatine boosts phosphocreatin stores, which your body uses to regenerate ATP, your muscle's instant energy source. More ATP equals more repeated effort equals more total volume equals more growth over time. This isn't just about lifting heavier. It's about lasting longer, in your workouts, on the field, and in life. Your opponent slows down after 20 minutes. You won't. That's your edge. 5. Not all creatine is created equal, but most of it is trash marketing. There are more creatine variations today than protein bar flavors. Creatine hydrochloride, HCL, buffered creatine, crealkaline, liquid creatine, micronized creatine, 
creatine ethyl ester, and every single one claims to be better absorbed, no bloating, or superior. But guess what? Creatine monohydrate is still the king, most researched, most effective, most affordable, proven in over 1,000 plus studies. If you're being sold on some overpriced, next-gen, creatine with wild claims, check the science. Most of them show no additional benefit over plain monohydrate, and in some cases, they perform worse. Spend less. Lift more. Don't fall for marketing magic. Stick to what works. 6. The real gains come from consistency, not loading phases. You've probably heard of a loading phase. Take 20 grams a day for a week, then scale back to 5 grams. Sounds intense, right? Yes, it can speed up muscle saturation, but it's not required. The truth. You can reach full saturation in about 3 to 4 weeks by simply taking 3 to 5 grams daily. Loading may cause mild digestive issues or unnecessary necessary water retention in some people. Long-term consistency, short-term overload. It's like saving money. You don't need to dump your whole paycheck into savings at once. You just need to consistently deposit a little every day. Creatine is no different. Take it daily. Stay patient. Let the results compound. 7. It doesn't work for everyone, and that's okay. This one's uncomfortable, but real. Some people take creatine, expect to feel superhuman, and notice nothing. They're called non-responders. Why? These individuals already have high muscle creatine stores naturally, whether through genetics or diet. So, supplementing doesn't produce a dramatic effect. How common is this? Around 20 to 30 percent of people may be non-responders, based on current studies. It's not failure. It's not your fault. Your body might just be maxed out, and that's fine. Supplements aren't magic. They're tools. And not every tool works for everybody. If creatine works for you, amazing. If not, move on. Your progress is still possible. 8. Creatine might actually help with depression. Here's where things get serious. Emerging research shows creatine could help with depression, especially in women. The science. Creatine supports the bioenergetics of the brain, meaning it helps brain cells produce and recycle energy. Low brain energy has been linked to mood disorders, especially treatment-resistant depression. A 2012 study in biological psychiatry showed that women taking creatine alongside SSRIs had a faster and more robust improvement in depression symptoms than those on medication alone. While it's not a replacement for therapy or medication, it might be the missing puzzle piece for some. If you or someone you love struggles with mental health, talk to your doctor. Creatine might help in more ways than you ever imagined. 9. You don't have to cycle off creatine, ever. Here's another old myth. Your body stops producing creatine if you take it too long. Wrong. Reality. Your body naturally regulates production based on need. Long-term creatine use doesn't shut down your internal supply, it just supplements it. There's no scientific evidence that continuous use is harmful for healthy individuals. You don't need to detox from creatine. You don't need to take a month off. Think of creatine like a vitamin. If it supports your performance, why stop? 10. Creatine is one of the few supplements that's actually backed by decades of science. In the world of supplements, where hype often outpaces proof, creatine is a unicorn. Over 1,000 studies, decades of testing, elite athletes, military units, clinical patients, all using it, all benefiting. It's been shown to help with muscle strength and size, high-intensity performance, brain health, bone health, mood regulation, even neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and ALS. In a world full of fitness scams, creatine is solid ground. You don't need to spend a fortune chasing results. Sometimes, the most effective solution has been in front of you all along, affordable, accessible, and real. Final words, this isn't just about supplements, it's about self-mastery. If you've read this far, you care, you want more than muscle, you want understanding, power, clarity. Creatine isn't just about lifting heavier or looking better. It's about choosing to level up, mentally, physically, and emotionally. It's about using what works and discarding what doesn't. It's about being informed, not influenced. So now that you know the truth, what will you do with it? Because strength, real strength, starts with knowledge.